All right, we are back in the kitchen here at Prairie Creek Farms in Kellyville, Oklahoma, just outside of Tulsa. So super close if you live in Tulsa to be able to find your way out here. It's a beautiful farm. Nate and the team are great. And now we're going to work with their beautiful grass-fed Angus beef and make some delicious and, yes, healthy cheeseburgers. Healthy and delicious. Nice. Your turn to cook, Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, your turn. Oklahoma! Woo! Woo! We are back out here at Prairie Creek Farms in Kellyville, Oklahoma, with my friend Nate. And today, we are going to show you a healthy, delicious way to do a burger. And you might be thinking, burgers aren't healthy. Well, if they're fast food burgers every day, probably not. But when you're eating delicious, local, grass-fed beef that has no hormones, nothing in it, then it can be good for you because it's pure protein for the body. But the most important person here today is never the chef. It is the farmer, my friend Nate. Nate, how you doing, man? Doing great. Happy to be here. Nate, tell me about, so we're going to do burgers today. Yeah. We're going to pound down them some big, some big burgers. Hope you're Love cool it. with that. Yeah. But I want to know what it is that you guys do here with your cattle program that makes it so special, not just because it's local, but because it's the better choice. Sure. Um, I mean, obviously, you want to shop local any way that you can. You're going to, sure. you know, get a better product. You want to, you know, meet your farmer and see how your animals are raised yourself. Um, but what we do out here is we we don't just run a grass-fed operation. We run a grass-finished operation, where we don't give our cattle grain any time ever throughout their entire life cycle. And the, the reason for that is, is cattle are are made. They're they're rumens, and so their their stomachs are basically giant sauerkraut vats. And so they have the unique ability to take grass and forage and other plant life and turn it into protein in their stomach by fermenting it. And so what we do is we foster that behavior in our cattle. And so if you look at herbivores throughout nature, whether it's the wildebeest on the Serengeti or the Cape Buffalo in Botswana, sure. you look at those herbivores and what they're doing is they're constantly moving and constantly mowing what's in front of them. And then that's what we do with our animals. And so our cattle that are out there about you know, 150 yards behind us right now. Our cattle right now are on a rotational grazing pattern. And so we will bring them into a small area, maybe a two acre, two acre area of pasture. And then the next day or the next two days after that, we'll move them to a new area. And then we send the chickens behind them. So what it's doing is it's giving them a diverse diet. It's making sure that we're always capturing plants at their peak caloric time, which means when we want to get cattle fat, people want to have a steak that has fat in it. And if mm -hmm. you've had grass-fed beef before, you may have experienced a very lean animal. Sure. So yeah. our job as, as grass-fed farmers is to make sure that we get our cows nice and fat before we take them to be processed. And so part of that is we are watching the grass grow to its optimal stage where the calories in that grass is like ice cream. It's the highest sugar and fat content for these cattle. And then we send the cattle in there right then have them graze it all down, and then we take them off of it and let that grass go back. As opposed nice. to some places where you just set them free on the pasture and the cattle are just going to roam around, find all this, find their favorite grasses, leave the rest. We control their movement so that they are always eating the optimal nutrition, and that's, that's creating a healthier animal with a diverse diet and then ultimately a fantastic grass-fed burger like we're gonna have today. Yeah, I love that. And everyone out there, one of the best things I think about working with a local farmer for anything is you get to learn this information. There's no other way, you have to ask the person that grows it, and I'm grateful that you're on this to show everyone in Oklahoma what you guys do. But I think the biggest thing is the taste, right? Yeah. <laughs> biggest thing is always the flavor. I'm a hamburger guy, so we're gonna do hamburgers today. I'm gonna hop in the kitchen, prep up. Nate, thank you, I'll meet you back out here. We're gonna cook up some healthy, delicious, grass-fed burgers right here at Prairie Creek Farms. Let's do it. See ya. And now, we are gonna make a healthy version of a delicious, rich cheeseburger. Yes, these are healthy cooking videos. And yes, this is a cheeseburger. So, all I do is salt and pepper. So as you can see, I've got a pound of great ground beef here and I'm just gonna season it. So as you can see, I'm gonna season it up with the pepper. All right, so we got it seasoned liberally with black pepper. Now we're gonna jump in with our salt. Same thing. You can go heavier than you think on salt, but do be careful because you can't take salt out. You can always add more. So just like that, a good amount of salt 
And what's great about Prairie Creek Farms and their stuff, it always it already comes packaged by the pound. So you figure, oh, I want a quarter pounder, I want a half pounder, I like a half pounder. So I know if I split it in two, I'm already there. And we're just gonna mix it up. You don't need to do much. Just make sure you get it nice and compressed so you get even cooking. If you ever cook a burger and you see pink and dark and it's kind of all over the place, it's just because it wasn't pressed hard enough and that's all you gotta do. Get it nice and pressed. And then I actually like to press them into the grill. I don't know about you guys, but it's, you know those places where you get burgers and the flat top and the grill kind of give it that flavor? It's because you press it into it as opposed to having it ready ahead of time. So we're gonna have our balls ready. There we go. All right, we got everything ready in the kitchen. So we have our delicious meat. So like I said, I'm gonna keep it whole and just put it right on there. Nice hot grill. Gonna make sure it's nice and tight. And then what I like to do is just press it right into the grill. Now, if you're at home, probably feel safer using a spatula. I've been doing this for years, so they don't even feel anything anymore. But I just go right in, get them nice and smashed down. And same thing like how we've been grilling all along. We're gonna set it and forget it. So we're gonna let these cook and come right back. All right, as you guys can see here, the burgers are, they're caramelized, which shows they do have a great fat content. Nate told us you gotta be worried about fat and grass, not with what they have. This stuff is caramelized up beautifully. I love cheese, do you? But this is a little bit of smoked cheddar. We're just gonna lay it right on top. And I'm not trying to get it all melted because then it can drip down and create flame and spurts. Just, just the heat of the burger alone will soften it just enough. If you like it really melty and gooey, use more cheese. So that's it. We're gonna take our burgers right off the grill. What do you say we head to the picnic table and meet up for Nate and try all his delicious stuff out? Once again, Nate, thank you for having us out. Now everyone out there, remember, it's your turn to cook, so head to your local farmer's market, meet your local farmer, and try some of the amazing bounty that this wonderful state of ours has. See you next time. Join us on YouTube and Instagram for this weekly series, and let us know how Healthy Oklahoma is helping you achieve a healthier life. It is your turn to move. Your turn to cook, Oklahoma. You want to eat Yeah, you want some want a bite? This is like the dream cut yeah. right there for mm -hmm. me. But. Healthy Oklahoma is a program of the Oklahoma State Department of Health. Stay, Stay healthy, Oklahoma. Oklahoma.